Hey, I got in trouble. Let me tell you about it. Okay, Rudiments 201, Connecticut Halftime, Part 3. What we're going to do on this one, I'm scratching my calf, calf is uh, going to do the next eight bars. And the reason we're going to do that is because we've already done the, um, you know, like the paradiddles. Well, not paradiddles, yeah. We've done the flams and seven strokes. The only thing that's going to be added new to this, really, is the uh, sex tuplets. The... Uh, Okay, but first, let me uh, give you a little bit about what, what happens. I have a stand here because I have some notes because apparently I tend to, to kind of trail off on, on something because I was told by someone that is in the know that it wasn't a communication song. It was actually a fife song or whatever, and I knew that. Because I got the fife music around here. Because some nights when I'm lonely, I play the fife. But, uh, yeah, I knew that. And, uh, and the way I communicated it in the first one was sort of like that it, it was a communication song. And that's, that's not true. I was trying to, to, um, uh, to convey to, to viewers, you guys, that of what the drum was used for back in the day. And I got them kind of confused. Not confused, I just didn't communicate it well. I'm checking this off now. So I had emailed that person about one thing or whatever, and then that person emailed me back and just told me about this or whatever. And to be honest, I didn't like it. I'm like, why are you telling me this then? And and so and so I I man, I let this person have it. I'm gonna tell you about it right now. It's right, I've got it all written down right here. And I'm going to read it to you verbatim, okay? Let's see. Da-da-da-da-da at, yeah, okay. I, um, I wrote, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's, okay, so. <laughs> and, uh, so, you know, <laughs> it was, <laughs> por favor, me, por favor. Oh, lo siento. <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, then I went on to to lose my my. Oh, here it is. Uh, okay, so many other things I'm doing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay, let me play it, and then we'll see what happens. Okay. seven stroke was bad. Uh, what I want to let you know about this, of course keep the paradiddles exactly as you had them previously. Keep the seven strokes exactly as you have them pre had them previously. Be sure when you go from the paradiddles that you don't rush the paradiddles. There, there's a, a lot of... Uh, inclination or tendency or impulse to, to go faster just because you put in two extra notes okay uh, so also remember as um, as it, it's still split by the eighth note instead of playing like two eighth notes It's not that fast, okay? Uh, if you're able to do it, you could do eighth notes here. What am I doing? triplets on that hand it really aren't that much faster than the eighth notes. So practice the uh Alright. Uh 
I plan, I'm playing those different on this drum. I'm playing everything different on this drum than I actually would a rope drum, even though I've never played a rope drum. Um, I played way long ago and I quit playing about 92 and I haven't played again in almost 20 years so it's not like I've been playing straight for 30 years or something like that. They're playing on a rope drum. If I played on a rope drum I would accentuate the six tuplets a little more. I would play everything a bit higher. Like even that, uh, that clear drum I normally play on. I would play it differently on that but for this drum with this head it, it is the interpretation for this drum. Okay, but it's still a correct and vital interpretation rudimentally. Um, as far as what roles or where and all that, I'm kind of playing it like the, the the piece I printed here. Though I am not. Oh wait, I'm not even going to get to that yet, am I? Nope, not going to get to it yet. So I don't have to. <laughs> everything and, if I, and everything on this one's not seven stroke rolls, and everything's not fives. There's fives and there's sevens. Okay. We're not getting to those 15s or whatever later. That's what I was about to talk about, and there's no need to, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, okay, that's for a different one. Don't need to talk about that. Okay. Be sure that your seven-stroke rolls are, and this is an interpretation thing, are started on the and of the second beat. They're all, it's always a like a preparatory beat or what we call an anacrusis even though it's seven notes. An anacrusis would be, kind of be like uh, let's say you got the uh, Star Spangled Banner, okay? Well if it started on da 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 okay you finally got that it's the Star Spangled Banner but it has a Da, 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 da. That's kind of an anacrusis. It's like a preparatory beat, something that comes before the first beat. So, like if I'm playing a flam, or whatever this is, a, a, a stroke, and I do this, that's, you know, an anacrusis, you know. So, it's a cool word. I'm going to name a dog that someday. Okay, in between my talking, let me play it again, just to break things up a little bit. everything I basically want to say on that. Okay, so I'm just going to play it a few times and that way you can hear a little bit and get something kind of in your head going. It's okay, it's supposed to sound like this okay, and then go from there, okay? or whatever. So now I've got a treat for one person that oh, I spit on my drum, my lord. That one person that uh, that told me about the what what the the Connecticut halftime really was, which I already really kind of knew and just said uh, you might want to dampen that drum a little bit, which I addressed in part two that I kind of like it. So what I'm gonna do just for that person right now. So I'm going to put these over here, and I'm going to get my whatever these sticks are. And I'm going to pull this out. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! See what this is? This is uh, the original abalone drum that, uh, let me put the snares on. Very sensitive. The original abalone drum that uh, CNC Custom Drums did. It's, it was a prototype. And it was, um, it was the idea of, let me look here, hold on. I forget the guy's name. Oh, 
called Paul William Smith, the same guy that wrote this book, The History of the Ludwig Drum Company. Uh, I bought this from him not too long ago. It was his personal drum. He says he doesn't use it anymore. He wants someone to have it. I don't enjoy it and all that. And you really can't see it there. But okay. Be able to finish the lesson. We can spend a little time here. And pull it back up. Okay. Now this drum is complete, uh, completely wrapped in abalone. Abalone is uh, sort of like mother of pearl is oyster shell. Abalone is sort of like mollusk shell or something like that. And it's two different types. And I forget what they're called. But if you wanted to look up abalone, you can look it up. And uh, here, let me pull it closer to the thing so you can see how beautiful this is. That is all abalone. Okay? Now I'm doing this for that one person to enjoy. And as you can hear, Here's what you're going to enjoy about it. <laughs> okay. Even though it is a beautiful drum or whatever, this shell is so thin. Okay? So what I'm going to do, being, I need to fix the ping on the other drum. I'm going to play a little, I'm going to play it on this drum. Just so um, you know what ping really is. Okay? So I'm going to play what I just played on my pingy drum on this drum that has a different type of ping, okay? <laughs> now that's ping for you, baby. Perdoneme, jefe. I had to do it. It feels so good. <laughs> All right, that was fun. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, Hefe, and the rest of you. And uh, we'll get on to the next one, maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure, and I gotta work. So there's enough to practice on. I'm trying to to get this done with, so um, y'all uh, can work on it. But you know, this is actually working out pretty good for you guys, because by the end of it, there's gonna be about six of these. And you're basically going to get probably almost two hours worth of instruction on a Connecticut halftime for, uh, <laughs> nothing? Oh, my God. I need to see a shrink. Well, wow, 13 minutes. Man, time goes by fast when you're having fun. Hope you had fun watching it. So, you know, if you, if you got to this point, that means I'm doing something right. So, hey, uh, practice that. Uh, thanks a lot. I corrected that for you, Hefe. And uh, have fun. It's just drums, guys. All right. See you later. I'm going to eat something.